Today we are attempting to automatically partition and format a hard drive in MS-DOS 7.1. The version of FDisk included with Windows 98 actually has several undocumented switches. At the prompt, type in FDisk forward slash PRI colon, then the size we want to make the partition. As the drive I'm currently working with is 500 megabytes, we can type in 500. Then we need to enter the drive number, which in this case is 1. Now we can press enter and the drive will magically be partitioned. The slash PRI switch creates a primary partition and marks it active. The drive size entered will determine the type of file system. Anything 512 megabytes or less will be a FAT16 partition. Anything over 512 megabytes will be a FAT32 partition. The drive number designates what drive we want to be partitioned. This is useful if you have more than one hard drive attached to the system. Now that we have the drive partitioned, we can format it. Thankfully, format also has some undocumented switches. At the prompt, type format c colon forward slash s forward slash autotest. The switch will copy over system files, making the drive bootable. The autotest switch will suppress the display and prompts from format, which is exactly what we want. We have the commands and switches we want to use. From here, let's put it all together in a batch file. At the prompt, type copy con setup.bat. Copy con will capture the keyboard input and output that to a file, which we named setup.bat. Press enter and the cursor will drop to the next line. Type at echo off. This will hide the display of the preceding commands. Press enter. On this line, type fdisk forward slash pri colon percent one percent two. The percent one and percent two are variables. So when we go to run setup.bat, we can enter the disk size, which is percent one, and the disk number, which is percent two. Press enter. Now type format c colon forward slash s forward slash autotest. To end, press control z. We should get the prompt that one file was copied. Let's test the batch file and make sure it works. We can run fdisk and use option 3 to delete the current partition, then reboot the computer. We can verify the partition is gone by typing in fdisk forward slash status. Awesome, no partitions are there. At the prompt, type setup.bat 501 and press enter. There we go.